All right, so you asked me if I share these videos and my channel with my friends and family and, and my social network. And um, the short answer is no. The long answer may take like six to 10 minutes. Uh, the truth is there are a couple different reasons why I don't do this. From a practical standpoint, I don't necessarily think that sharing your video amongst people you know in real life helps your channel. I think it temporarily bolsters your subscriber count, but if those same people then do not watch all of your content, it isn't necessarily beneficial. But uh, the truth of the matter is I've, on this channel, I've always bucked best practices. So I probably should share it with like my friends and family as a, as a fun social experiment. But the reality is that I see this channel, my videos, our relationship as, as like, as like a new friendship that I don't necessarily need to share with everyone I know. Um, I think of them more as not like declarations, but more of along the lines of interactions where you and I have conversations every day we talk about things that that may or may not concern my friends or family um, in a way that, I don't know, doesn't necessarily feel exclusive or, ex or excluding, but that it just isn't, didn't really occur to me. Um, I think of our relationship sometimes like like you and I are coworkers and who have become closer friends and we like go out and grab a coffee every day at our at our coffee break, right? And we get to hang out, we get to talk about things that we don't necessarily talk about with other people that don't share common interests with us. Um and then we don't even invite other people in the office with us because because we just like hanging out together that's how i view this channel sometimes sometimes i think of it as it's like a therapy session where you're my confidant and the things we talk about don't like leave these four walls which i know is totally not true because i am proclaiming all of this stuff in a public forum on the internet of which any number of people can come by and hear. But when I think about it that way, it gives me that real, that gives me that real feeling of connecting with you as a person, as someone who is, you know, who has a whole life of their own, as opposed to just the sub number, right? And that's the goal of, I think for me this year, to connect with more people um, in a meaningful way, to let my authenticity and who I am as a person really come out, that I think I have held back and been reserved about displaying to people that I know in real life. I think one of the issues that I know I struggle with when it comes to friends and family is the idea that they know me from a certain point of view or in a certain context like um and that's not necessarily who i am anymore it's like a part of me that you know they knew but not something that is perpetually in my life. So, so say for example, like you used to work, like, like you went like high school, all of us went to high school. 
people that we met and knew and were friends with back in high school, even teachers, right, knew us in this contained environment in this closed off way. And if I run into people that I know now that I met in high school, they have a preconceived notion of who I am based on our past relationship. And for me on this, on this channel, on these videos, it's almost as if I, I make these t to tell myself that I'm not that person anymore, that I can do the things now that I didn't do back then, either because I didn't know how or I was afraid to do them or I feared like judgment or embarrassment. Um, instead, I'm here now to be like, well, fuck that. I'm going to do these things. I'm not going to worry about it. I am going to put myself and my vulnerabilities on the internet for you so that we can connect, so that you know you're not alone, so that we know that there are people out there just like us who think and feel the same way. And the risk I think I run that I take is putting myself out there with these vulnerabilities to people who will not align with my values, right? The trolls out there, um, the people who think that these videos don't have value. And for them, they, it, they probably don't. But for you and I, they, yeah, they do. They're valuable. We have this rapport, this connection, and we spark, we spark conversation and we talk about real meaningful things. And so that's probably one of the main reasons why I don't share these videos with other people, because I want to organically grow with you and find you. And I have like this naive faith in YouTube that they can help me do that, that they will surface my video to the right person. And, um, and I like to think it's already happening because you're watching this video right now. And if you weren't, then YouTube would have not been helping me and working in my favor to, to connect me with you. And so in 2024, I just feel like I want to, I don't know, validate that for everyone out there, for all of the other small content creators who are making videos like, like me, who want to connect with people, right? who want to, who are brave enough to put themselves out there, to think differently, to go against the norm. Although maybe creating content now is the norm. I don't know. I grew up in an age where, where we didn't use our real names on the internet, let alone put our faces out there, let alone talk about anything meaningful. But that, that's changed. And to be honest, uh, in my family, I've always been kind of like the black sheep of the family. I've done things differently than my siblings. I've done things differently than my extended family with regards to how I view um, work, how I express myself creatively, how I parent, how I am a partner with my spouse, all of these, th how I perceive time, how I, all of these things differ from a lot of the people I know in real life. But what's awesome is that they don't necessarily differ that much from you. And 
And that's who I want to reach with these videos, you. So that's the reason why I don't promote my video and my content to my channel to people I know or my social network. Um, because yeah, I already feel like, I already feel like uh, it's, I'm doing the things that I need to do because we're having this conversation. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today and we'll talk again tomorrow.